Hello and welcome back to Project Los Alamos. The CDV-715 was produced to measure high range of radiation, reading all the way up to 500 rotogens an hour. That's the simple defense logo, and some data is written down on it. OCD item number CVV-715, model number 1A, serial number 49409, the Victorine Instrument Co., Cleveland, Ohio. It's a very basic device. It's only one dial to control the whole entire device, and one to zero. We see, go into check circuit, move the dial to the check circuit area. This means all the electronics are good. The proper way of turning this device on is first zeroing it and letting it sit for two minutes. After it's set for two minutes, we can then zero it. To zero, we turn the zeroing knob until it's on the zero. Then we can move on. Starting off at 0 0.1, it reads up to 0.5 rotogens an hour. At times 1, it'll read up to 5 rotogens per hour, 10, 50 rotogens per hour, and at the highest setting, 500 rotogens per hour. Now let's take a look at the inside of the 715. The latches are located next to the carrying strap handles. Flipping those open, we can pull it apart. The bottom case has a foam block for keeping the battery in and the circuit diagram. Looking at the main body now, we see a big round disc. This is the ion chamber. It's used to measure the radiation. How it works is there's two plates in there and it's under a vacuum. When a high energy particle hits it, it sends a signal through the circuits to read on the dial. The whole unit is powered by one D cell battery. This is connected to the circuit board. We see on this side is the calibration knobs. These are turned to calibrate it. How this unit would be calibrated is it would be locked into a machine and a radioactive material would be placed in there at a known set distance. Then the knobs will be switched and it'll read and adjustments will be made to make sure it's measuring correctly. On the bottom lip, there is a gasket which creates a watertight seal, keeping it all tight and dry. Also, it's shockproof and it's made very well. You can still find these units in very, very good condition, even though they were made back in the 60s. Let's put it back together and move on. A very common misconception with these units is that they are Geiger counters. They are not Geiger counters. They use an ion chamber compared to a Geiger Muller tube. So the Office of Civil Defense did produce Geiger counters. This is what the, one of the Geiger counters would look like. And it uses a Geiger Muller tube instead of an ion chamber. The Geiger Muller tube is located in this probe up here. The Geiger Muller tube makes a distinct clicking noise, one radiation hits it. The 715 does not make a clicking noise, and it has no way of producing a clicking noise because there's no speaker, nor is there a headphone jack. In this clip, we see the supposed Geiger counters. I found the Geiger counters. Thanks. Oh, great. Good to see you. And use the extra help. Oh, thank you, Johnson. Eric, oh, what can I do to help? We'll let you know. Does it work, Dad? Looks okay. Mr. Mayor. You can pick one of these units off of eBay for about 40 to $50. If you get lucky, you can snag one cheaper. The model you see in front of you, I got for six bucks, plus the $14 shipping for 20 in total, which is a relatively good price for a model in this good of shape. 
You can also look at around garage sales, they have them, and flea markets. It's very easy to find them because so many were produced. Thanks for watching. See you next time. And always remember, keep your gas masks on tight and enjoy the ride.